All right, give me just a second here, and we will get the stream up and running. I wasn't expecting to jump into a game this fast. Hey, it's me. All right, so good evening, everybody. Chris Gogolin here. Doing a, I was going to just jump into a game and do some streaming of other people's games that were going on, but I saw this opportunity to get a game in for myself and decided to go for it. So we're going to activate. I'm playing my TTO deck because I haven't updated any other decks, and this one doesn't need any new cards in the last two or three sets, so it just kind of plays out pretty well. Uh playing against what looks like the Nightfall version of uh, No Idea here. Should be interesting. Uh, Alright, so we're going to pass. So he's going to have a lot of spies, so I can't go out of my bunker. And that's certainly going to be an awkward thing. So let's go look for a ship and see what else we've got in here. So, Vader Shuttle is in there. But I think I'd be one for short. Ozzel's in there. Piet, Endor Shield. Just make sure that this is actually streaming, right? Okay, cool, so I am streaming. All right, let's go here, F11 to go full screen. Bam, there we go. All right. Um, I think I take... What am I not going to need? I guess we'll take Vader's shuttle. This is really going to, whole thing is going to kind of throw me off turn one. Because of all the spies he has. Uh, Endor shield. Let's cut his activation down. Star. Now, do I want to take take a turn off and play this safe, or do I want to play fast? That is the challenge. Let's do this the smart way. Because this deck does have a good amount of space. And we'll try and take it... Uh, <laughs> Try and take it nice and slow. We'll build a Death Star a little bit later. We'll 
go ahead and draw this card. Alright. That will actually be really good picking up that surface defense because I need that to get to Kree. I apologize for not getting myself properly uh, set up. Like I said, I wasn't quite expecting... Uh, whoops. Just realized that this is still labeled as a Hearthstone video. No. Puts down corn horn. Okay. So what do I know about no idea? It plays a lot of spies, gets a lot of power on the ground, and is generally a pain in the ass because of the quick damage it can kind of deal. Usually I would kind of negate some of that with some undercover spies of my own. Corn horn's obviously going to piss in my Kool-Aid on that one. So what are we going to have to do instead? We are going to have to get our Death Star built, go orbit uh, Scarif there, and cause some damage. Maybe I can get to one of these ground sites for a turn or two and increase my, my ping damage. So he's got Corn Horn. He's got the stardust on him, and off he's going. So, uh, what do I think of TTO strength of the meta after the bullets for it? Uh, I still think it's pretty good because I uh, continue to play it, and uh, you know, the bullets that are out there, half of them don't get played, and the ones that do, you know, the game, the deck can still win even with them. It's just not as overpowered as it was, where you're just winning, like, all the time. It's, uh, just winning when it needs to. So, it's a lot more reasonable. Games are a little closer. You know, you don't just run away with a game by, like, 15 or 20. Uh, you win by, like, 8, so it takes a little longer, a little more grindy. But it certainly does have plenty of potential. Alright, I do want to drain, because I'm not going to do much else this turn. So, if everybody watching could do me two favors, that would be great. Favor number one, just type the word hi in the chat. And favor number two, if you aren't following me, click that little heart icon and just follow me. That would be greatly appreciated. All right, so he loses a Blount and a Baze with Cannon. Okay, probably safe bets. He won't need those guys. All right. All right. 
So we got the moth out. Take the card into hand. Thank you guys, I, I appreciate it. Uh, you know, Twitch tracks, things like that, and in order to build your content and followers, it's like how many different people were discussing your stream, and it's like, you know, so obviously just having everybody quick type hi um, certainly helps that number and statistic look a little better, which gets me closer to my ultimate goal, which is getting more attraction to my page, which is getting more attraction for the Star Wars game and all that other fun stuff. So I appreciate you guys uh, watching the game and just participating along in the chat. Feel free to ask questions. I'll try and answer them as I go and hopefully won't screw up too badly. All right, so Saber 1 is not in there, so I can't match for that. Decree is, though, so I am going to grab that as well. I'm going to forgo a little bit of my damage to slow down a little bit of his damage. Because this is during control phase, loses two force. Nothing on here says it can't be reduced, so let's go get Decree. Get a sector. There's sector number one. And let's find a couple cards that we don't mind losing, since I can't really lose off the top. That'll be a good one. He might grab it, though. That's always a fun one. Okay. It's about to leave table. It goes back to the data vault. Uh, anything but an Imperial or Spy deploys plus two. I will reduce that by one. And what am I going to lose? I am going to lose this imbalance combo. And hopefully I won't regret that decision. And then we're going to try a short range and hope he doesn't grab it. He'll probably will, though. I want to get the slave one. That's fine. Oh, he's not going to pay to drain. Okay. He's got Bright Hope, Tentive, Gold Leader, a whole bunch of dudes. Not too many pilots. And these funny little ships... Yeah, he slowed me down a little bit because with all the spies in his deck, I couldn't just throw, like, Jerjerod, Ozzel to the bunker and start grabbing sectors. So I had to go to space, but I didn't have. I only had seven. I didn't have eight, which would mean I either had to just take the ship and throw Ozzel and Moff on there, um, but then Vader floating through the deck. So I decided to go a turn slower and... Uh, match Vader, and then put the other guys down turn two. So. He's going to put Gold Leader and Gold One to Endor. And think he can catch me off guard, because I don't have any force available to uh, pay for a drain, huh? Or uh, a battle destiny? Oh, draw their fire. Well, now. Isn't that interesting? I think I would like to activate a force. Would have been a very good play. No, they don't draw if unable to otherwise. Uh, other ships do. Like, Actually, most of my pilots don't. Baron adds. Fett adds. Vader just has six ability. 
I wonder if that'll make him rethink his strategy. <laughs> now he's like, oh shit, he's got a force, he can draw Battle Destiny. Uh, he's also got two battlegrounds here, so I guess we'll pull secret plans and see if he wants to pay for his retrieval as well. So he's going to get two Destiny. He's got a lot of characters in this deck. I'm immune to less than five. So I feel pretty confident about the possibility of him just moving away. No, no, you're fine, Berm. Uh, I'm not pitching to Kree just so I can draw a Battle Destiny in that situation. I'm, like I said, I've got plenty of pilots. Vader can still subtract two. So, you know, worst case scenario, I forfeit Vader. If I really have to, he can't beat ten with what he had in his reserve deck. So, I mean, he could get ten. I subtract two, make it eight. And interesting, he doesn't run away. Okay, so either he's got something really big up his sleeve, or all right, we're gonna grab that sector. How did he? Oh, he can deploy a rebel starship anywhere. I thought it was only like two scarf or something like that. Okay, that was a mistake on me. Uh, it would be to move to here, not from here. So it only would have costed him one, unless there's a thing on Scarif that makes it cost plus for him to move. So we will activate our forces. And then we will smite him. Past. Uh, choose activate. Uh, well, you can let him, we'll let him look at my deck. That's fine. Boba is in there, and so is that thing's operational. Okay. Time to find out if he's got a gick. You were at somebody was asking earlier about what do I think of TTO strength with all the bullets. The bullets only affect the TTO damage. You still have a bunch of great pilots and a bunch of great ships. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can just win games through that. We pass control. We deploy sector number two. We deploy sector number three. We go get TTO. You are very welcome. Thank you guys very much for watching. That's always uh, appreciated. Followers are good. Comments and chat are good. Now we will combat response. And get Mr. Fett out of the deck. He's got a barrier. Okay. That's fine. You can have your barrier. Fine, I'll do this the hard way. I will over deploy. Okay. Let's pass deploy. Let's initiate battle. Oh, he forgot to pull. I'm going to do that and retrieve one, get my card back. He now has to lose a force.
Ah, oh, I totally screwed up. I'm at, I've got them outpowered and whatnot, but I can't add all the battle destinies because of gold leader. Whoops. All right. So I shouldn't have deployed Saber 1. Actually, I should have. That's fine. I mean, I don't have... Because it's just use one, right? I can't lose one like the other ships now. That's fine. I've got them outpowered. We'll do this the hard way. Yep. Well, that sucks. Do I want to redraw my own battle destiny? No. Tantive I don't care about. You can have that one. Let's see what you draw for destiny number two. Oh, he drew a Hujix. I will subtract two from it. Alright, so he's down ten. I'm immune. He loses Lando and what the ship. Yeah. Oh, he didn't lose the ship. He lost three damage. He lost Crix, Nightfall, and the Hujix. Okay. I guess he figures he's going to need the ship to fight in space. but oh hang on a second guys I've got a whiny cat who doesn't like being excluded from uh, our stream Alright, so we went for big air there, kind of came up a little short, but we will reduce that to one. We'll catch up. That's fine. Eh, I can live without that. Nah, you're cool. All watchers, all followers are appreciated as long as they are respectful and, you know, don't say anything uh, offensive or whatever like that to anybody. So the Tantive goes to the Death Star. Luke goes there. That doesn't bother me. Gets a docking bay. Okay. Yeah, I played this a little sloppy in the beginning, trying to go for a big move, and it did not work. So now we'll have to kind of take this turn and regroup a little bit. Mothma. Guess I'll move Gold Leader over. Now what we need is a super laser. <laughs> a 
Lightside likes to play a lot of Tantive 4 and uh, stuff, and uh, I like to shoot it with the Super Laser. Alright, so. Pass activate. Let's check in here because I want to see Well, my destiny is really gross for the most part, other than a couple exceptions, but my Admiral's Order isn't there. I was really hoping that was in there. Alright, he's got two cards in hand and, what, like a Bright Hope? Maybe floating in his reserve deck that he could draw and subtract and manipulate some stuff with. So, let's drain. Deploy a super laser. Put Piet piloting with Mr. Boba. All right, so we pass deploy. Battle. Vader and friends move over there. Seven. Okay, I forgot, forgot what par six Scarif was for a second. We would like to orbit. Because this thing adds battles at Death Star system and system it orbits. So I do get two there. And if I move, uh, I have to use this. Relocate a tie. Actually, no. Yeah, it's fine. Relocate a tie. He's going to move over there. Alright, so I need to leave at least two this time, so I draw multiple destiny, which means I can draw one. Hey, it's a card I don't need. Put that box back now. Naboo? Do I need more force? Nah, I think 13 is going to be okay. Uh, one. And two. And there goes Maul's ship. Reduce the loss. The decree is an optional reduce, so you have to make sure you always click on it. Looks like it finally changed my category, but apparently it uh, tagged it as like 27 different types of games. <laughs> He's playing Jedi Lev to retrieve a non-maintenance character into hand. Okay. No Idea is one of those decks that I have not played against much, and I forget some of the little nuances and subtleties that the uh, the deck has. 
So we're learning as we go. So he had to pay three for the Jedi lift, and he's gonna pay one more. So he's gonna get he's gonna get Solo back. Okay. I'm afraid my Admiral's Order might be the one card I've been saving. No, I didn't pull the Admiral's Order with Piet yet. It wasn't in my reserve deck. Uh, his Destiny. One, two, three fives. He does have a Bright Hope, which could also be mildly problematic. Not really, but it'd be a one-turn kind of situation. The 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 benefit of this situation here, though, is, is that I don't need any of the pilots anymore. I don't need your Gerard. My Death Star's up and running. I don't really need Vader, so I have the ability to forfeit plenty of stuff here, if necessary. Um, but I'm thinking the Admiral's Order is one of the two cards in my Force pile, because I haven't. I don't remember seeing it in the last two turns, so I think it might be the Force I may have... Did I save any? No, I didn't save any. I paid for it. Yeah, he seems to have kind of just limited him to just the like the one site. I mean, he's playing Insurrection, obviously. Well, that's interesting. I guess he's just going to run away to Chandrilla. Now, I did lose the card to subtract and make it not as hard for him to blow up my Death Star, but I can't imagine uh, Gold Leader and Gold One's about to try and make its way through the trenches. Yeah, it's kind of what I was thinking too, Ming. I was thinking he wanted to play Insurrection because of the smaller Rebels and the forfeit bonuses and was like, well, I might as well throw in a Docking Bay or two and just get a little extra activation and not have to worry about covering as many ground sites. Alright, so he ran away. That is uh, okay by me. I'm going to use Jurgerod and Peak. Alright, my Admiral's Order is there. So let's get that now with Mr. Piet. And then I can move my Slave 1 freely. Strain plus one there. Huh? All right. well, we're probably not deploying Maul as much as much as I would love to just deploy Maul here and just start, you know, hacking these guys to bits and kind of shutting this whole thing down. It doesn't seem like it's going to work. I guess it could work, though. We'll do the free damage first, because free is good. He had the Nightfall already in hand, and I guess he threw it away in this matchup, realizing uh, he wasn't going to need it. So, And there goes another Nightfall off the top, so he had at least one or two. All right. He's top decking cards. If he's top decking cards, it kind of maybe I want to keep making him top deck cards. Let's at least drain here while I think about this. There goes a dude. There goes another dude. That's. Those drains are not good. Let's see what my destiny looks like. Yeah, that's gross. He's got one card in hand. He's lost a bunch of rebels. He can only get starships or scarf sites.
what the hell? Let's play, uh, what, like nine? Yeah, we'll pay nine. Drop that mall guy. See if we can't just shut all his damage down. Okay, so we pass deploy. We battle. He loses one more. We retrieve one with draw their fire. Oh, right, my Admiral's Order, I can't retrieve for initiating battle. Okay. Uh, we're going to swing at Corn Horn. That's fine. You know, there's a... Not too small of a possibility here that he might miss the swing on Maul and then I can close call the destiny to zero and actually Maul might live. It's a snowball's chance in hell, but you know, it could happen. He's got lots of characters in this deck, right? There weren't too many fives in his reserve deck. But we got rid of Corn Horn, which is gonna get rid of a big chunk of his damage. That's fine. I just don't want them all hit. Nice. Oh, he's got a Jedi left. Look at that. He's used a couple of Jedi lives, which makes sense because he's got so many characters in the deck. Uh, I'm going to pass, though. So he just took Jin Urso into hand. Oh, he used Solo to play it from the Lost Pile. Oh, nice, and he draws the Hujix. Uh, so that misses worse. But at least he doesn't draw the Hujix for Battle Destiny now, so. Alright, let's take a swing at Lukey. That's okay. I drew the lowest card for Destiny. Duh, he's not Jedi Luke. I'm used to that being young Skywalker and not being a six and missing. That's actually EPP Luke. Why did they use that picture? It still bothers me. Uh, Alright, let's draw some Battle Destiny. That should be like a six. Yeah. We had a couple of those floating in there. So putting the animal's order out was a bad idea. Yeah, he drew a five. It's fine. We tie. Everybody dies. thinking about Mothma taking in the hand. Oh no, Adam disconnected. Come back, Adam. Don't load up Twitch. It'll be okay. Oh, 
a Senate majority or stolen data tapes on the table. Yeah. So Mothman doesn't really do a whole lot then. She's just another guy who can pull with strike planning. Hmm. So I guess he just lagged out. Or one of these cards in his hand does something related to battle destinies. Uh, so yeah, so Maul dies. Stardust goes back over there, so now I don't lose damage. Now he doesn't occupy a battleground site. So now... Pass battle. going to do this. Right, let's actually get a card or two. Well, those actually help. Hey, there's the other guy. Yes, I do run two malls. Yes, I do run Tatooine Darth Maul. to come in handy uh, in matchups with uh, weenie decks. Kind of like this one. He's really good against Watcher Step. Uh, they got Boshek now, so they've got a third pilot, but with Luke usually being on the ground, and then you can just kind of avoid Melos for a little bit, or wait till Melos hits the table, or use EPP Maul to kill Melos, and then Maul would usually come down afterwards, and then it's like, oh look, you've got nobody in space now, I can just follow you around all day. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'm expecting to see him kind of reload his hand a little bit, but... No, he's going to use Jin, not undercover. Pick up the Stardust again and walk her back out to the beach. Apologize that uh, I seem to be lagging a little bit, running my camera, running my uh, clock down, getting this whole streaming thing going. All right, I need to switch to my phone so that this is not uh, killing my computer latency. up some time. And again, as always, I appreciate you guys watching the streams, commenting in the chat, kind of make this, you know, as interactive as possible. And of course, if you click that little follow heart, that's always appreciated. You can turn the notifications off so you don't have to get the notification when I do go live. Um, you know, but uh, I stream Star Wars and sometimes I stream Hearthstone as well. So if you care about either of those two games, leave the notifications on. Um, you just get an email that just says, I went live. But I uh, always appreciate the follows. He played Rescue, took a card, drew more cards, took a card, drew everything. So he's got a whole big pile of cards in hand. See what we can do here. Is Tarkin in there? No. 
we've got two characters and the gick is in there so I'd have nothing to pull and he's got a big hand full of stuff she's not immune to anything though all right control phase this ship is gonna land I now occupy battle plan. Drain for one. He doesn't have a force, so I don't have to worry about surprise assault. Drain for one. that so I have to pay to fire. That's fine. I will grab that and make him lose a card. Alright, so we get a train of two and then I get two more damage. Sorry about the mass combo. Another Odin Nestler first aid combo. Uh, and two TTO damage. Top decks to hear me, baby, and something else. He's getting low on life, which we like. We've got a nice little lead. And he just throws away, threw away Ray. All right, let's go for this. It'll cost me, what, like seven? Okay. fine. There's nothing in there for me to get. We already verified. Uh, we'll pass deploy phase. Initiate battle. I don't get to retrieve, but he has to lose one more, withdraw their fire. So that was like, what, eight force? Two, four, five, six, seven. We made him lose this turn. He loses Varric. Or Utani, rather. Sorry. Off the top. Let's just draw some destiny and see where we're at. Nice. Oh, that's fine. He drew a three. But it was Hera, and he plays a couple of Jedi lives, right? Let's gamble. It worked. All right. Uh, so yeah, he would have lost Jin plus three more cards. Stardust would have gone back. He wouldn't have had very much left to work with. Let's see, at 11, 15. So he'd be down to like 12 force total. These ships aren't really going to do much in space. So it was uh, an interesting game for sure. And uh, certainly... Uh, a rough early start between the spies and then the gold leader kind of threw me off. So uh, it was a very aggressive move. I mean, if I don't have the a dark time there, I could be in a bit of trouble. I might have to like lose Vader or something if he can actually battle, but uh, having the dark time certainly saved me. I almost just, you know, wasted or threw it away, but that was fun. What's this? I don't know what this is. So, All right, so we pick up another win. Wins are always good. We'll pop back into the lobby, see what else is going on. Maybe there's some other OCS games we can uh, watch and comment comment commentate on. Someday I'll get, be able to actually say that word right.
we didn't really see much no or any no idea at uh, at Endor. I know people were talking about that in the uh, the forums about no idea not being played at the Endor Grand Prix. Um, combination of you know some of the other dark side or light side decks just being a little bit more popular or easier to play or not requiring <laughs> cutting out as many virtual cards. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it seems like it's a, a decent deck. But, all right. to the uh, lobby here, see what else is going on. Yay! Oh, I get a foil. Kill them immediately. Because, you know, you play that card so often that you need the shiny version, too. So, we've got a whole bunch of casual games. Chris Kelly playtesting with Jared. Paul and Gavin playing each other over and over. Okay, it doesn't look like there's too much else going on. Chris Kelly, 10-0 now. Wow, look at that guy go. Trying to make sure he punches his ticket. Had to wait all the way into the very last day of the last you know, month last year to qualify on points. And it's just like, yeah, I'm not dealing with that again this year. <laughs> Starts off 10-0. Uh, you know, if he loses his last two, it could be interesting, but... Uh, I guess he puts himself into a pretty good spot here. And, uh, yeah, some other people. Rebel Spy. Joe is at 7 0. That's pretty solid. Brian's at 5 and 1 now. Where are we at? I think I'm like 3 and 1. Yeah, 3 and 1 right here with Nick. And, uh, Wise is 4 and 2. Uh, Lenny's 5 and 0. Oh. So certainly some plenty of guys. Still lots of games left to play. There's still time to sign up for the OCS. If you haven't signed up for it yet uh, and are allowed to sign up for it, um, you can certainly still get in on that and uh, try and get some games in before the end of the month. Obviously, you only need to play eight now to earn the foil, but uh, registration is good for 24 more hours. Uh, this time tomorrow night, it will be closed, and uh, you'll have to wait until March to get into the tournament. But... Uh, all right, well, it doesn't look like there's much else going on here tonight, so I guess I'll just go ahead and wrap things up now and kind of call it a night. But uh, thank you guys oh so much for watching, and, uh, you know, appreciate the support, and, of course, uh, the follows are always nice. And uh, you guys take care. We'll be back on uh, over the weekend playing some more games.